morning, everybody. It's Tuesday about 10.30. We are just finishing up chores. Devin's going to haul some hay. Uh, I'm just cleaning up my uh, spills and stuff. I try to keep it a little cleaner. Looks like I'm just mixing a bunch of snow. And I am, but you know, the snow is perfectly clean. We put it in the box and we clean it up and it actually adds a little moisture to it. And that way we don't waste anything. Shit's expensive enough. But anyway, I wanted to uh, tell you guys that um, the contest winners, Mr. Ted from Pewview Farms and Mr. Brad from Northern Wisconsin Farming, both decided to donate their prizes back into the pool, which is great. Tells you what kind of people they are. So. Around the 7th of February, the next contest will be, uh, in case you know, uh, February 14th, obviously, or whatever, is it's Valentine's Day. That way, if somebody wants to buy something for their significant other, they will have time. Hopefully, I can get it to them. Uh, that'd be kind of awesome. Um, other than that, a while back, I want to say in October, November, I started a series called Storytime. And I made a few few videos and I got away from it. And uh, uh, it's back, if you will. So Chris DeHaven from DeHaven Family Farms, his uh, request was, uh, he was wondering if I had ever been gotten pranked on. Well, yes, Chris, I did. Uh, and back in 1988, you guys don't remember it, just us old bastards do. But anyway, back in 1988, my one of my closest and still closest friends and I and our wives went antelope hunting about 180 miles west of here. We like we'd done forever. Excuse me. So. We get over there and we get looking. We got the camper set up. Real nice people where we stay, etc., etc. We got over there a little too late to go around at night. So the next morning we're driving around. And there is this giant. I, um, I mean a monster. See over there they have long prongs and big thick bases and they have it all. But anyway, he's in a perfect spot. You can sneak up over the hill and kill him dead on a stone. So me and my buddy, we flipped to see who was going to um, get to uh, shoot this. We both had shot pretty big goats, you know, in previous years, but uh, this guy was gonna be the biggest. So, all right, we made our plan and he was gonna come up there and with me in case I missed, you know, which that, hardly ever happens, you know how that goes. But anyway, I get out, set my gun in the pickup, walk around the corner to go to the bathroom, and unbeknownst to me, he takes my shell out of my barrel with my gun. So I get done going to the bathroom, and we sneak up to this goat. I mean, he's dead on his feet. I know he is. He ain't going nowhere. Uh, I pull the bolt down. I take a good aim, and... He's sitting there and he's aiming to it. And I said, don't worry about it, I got this. And I pulled the trigger. And when I pulled the trigger, you could hear a click, obviously. It was an empty. And it was click, boom. It was just like that. He knew damn good and well that I had no bullet. So the minute that he heard the click, he killed that goat dead on his feet. And we, we had him measured by the uh, well, we waited, uh, I won't say Boone and Crockett, but we measured it Boone and Crockett style. I want to say it takes 82 inches to uh, make the minimum of Boone. And this one was a shade under 80, 79 and 6 eighths or something like that. But anyway, the moral of the story is, yes, Chris, I got, I got taken good there. So anyway, I'm going to try and get back in the storytelling business. Uh, so I guess every Tuesday, the next one will be uh, Devin's story. A uh, guy requested that a long time ago, and 
how Devin come to be here at the ranch or whatever. So everybody take care. Um, thanks again. Thanks to all my new subscribers. There's coming out of the woodwork. It's crazy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like it. If you don't, tell me what you want. Take care.